Hey legends, it's LSD789 with another build video. This is going to be my perfect parry samurai build. It's a really fun build because when you do a perfect parry you get a chain of 3 attacks after the perfect parry. So yeah, let's go right into it. I'm using the Red of Sarugami. Uh, it has a water stance katana. With, uh, the regular parry is disabled, but perfect parry becomes a chain of 3 attacks. So yeah, when you do a perfect parry you can hit uh, a total of 3 times uh, after the perfect parry. I will show in the gameplay how to use this, but uh, this one comes with melee damage and the perfect parry window. And the perfect parry window is pretty important because it, yeah, the window of perfect parrying is just bigger. And just with that 12% it's really gonna help you. It also comes with burning blades. Melee attacks have a chance to apply burning, uh, the burning effect. And the intimidating counter. Perfect parry counter attacks have a 50% chance to also deal enemies to nearby foes. So yeah, when you do perfect parry, um, nearby enemies can get uh, attacked too, and the burning will spread as well. So yeah, that's really nice. Um, and for the range weapon, I'm using a half bow with range, with range resolve gain and draw speed. I only use this to gain some resolve to use my ultimate. So if you shoot quicker and you get more resolve, that's really useful. It also comes with poisoned ammo and sharpened ammo for the poison and bleed uh, effect. It's just to do a little bit of damage. Then I have a Samurai Charm, an advanced charm that improves Samurai class abilities. This one comes with melee damage, melee resolve gain, blessed strikes and leeching parry. Uh, so yeah, the melee damage is really important, so your melee attacks do more damage. The melee resolve gain is also important, so you get your ultimate back quicker after each melee strike. The blessed strikes, dealing melee damage heals you while your class ability is active. So yeah, when we use our class ability, and you do your, uh, yeah, first you do your class ability, and after that you do your ultimate, and each swing with your class ability active, um, yeah, will heal your, will, will, yeah, will heal yourself. Also has leasing parry. Perfect parry restores a small amount of health and fills your resolve faster. And again, we're gonna be perfect parrying the whole time, so a little bit of health and resolve is always nice. Um, then I have a, uh, a kunai. With melee damage, cooldown, reduction on kill, and hidden blade and super massive. Melee damage is again really important, and the cooldown reduction on kill is also really nice. Because we have uh, 5 swings with our ultimate, and each kill gives 4 seconds of our cooldown, it's really nice. Then I have a hidden blade for the 5 kunais, and a super massive, so you can deal extra damage and cause lighter enemies to get thrown backwards. It's really nice, so you can just get a bit of space and throw the small enemies away from you. Uh, I also have a bottle of liquid courage, refills less health on use, but also refills one at, between 1 and 2 resolve. Cooldown reduction on kill, injured resolve gain, lucky and strong brew. So yeah, we need this bottle of liquid courage to get our ultimate back. And the cooldown reduction on kill is also nice. Same with the injured resolve gain, so when you get hit you get resolve. It's just that to give you uh, your ultimate back. Luck is really important for the 15% chance to instantly reset the cooldown on use. So when you use this bottle of liquid courage, you have a chance of getting it back immediately. And a bit of healing uh, is also nice with it. So that's all the gear. Let's go over the techniques really quick. The Hushu Mines Fury. Perform a series of light, lightning fast strike attacks at a group of enemies. Yeah, it looks really nice. I'm using the Raging Flame. Heavy attacks with this burning blade can also ignite nearby enemies. And um, with your ultimate... Uh, oh yeah, your ultimate is uh, a heavy attack. So you will burn all the enemies uh, nearby. So once you put first your class ability and then your ultimate, uh, you will also heal yourself with the blessed strikes. So if you're low on health, just use your class ability and then yeah, you're good to go. Then on this one, I'm using the Legendary for one extra Legendary slot for the Bottle of Liquid Courage. You can also try this one, the Deep Strikes. But I like uh, this one. Then I have one extra Resolve, so you can save your ultimate. You can also try this one for the killing an enemy with a Perfect Parry counter attack, uh, Resource 50 health. But I think uh, just one extra Resolve is better. And for this one, I'm using the Humanji's fr uh, Frenzy for two extra strikes. You can switch this one 
uh, for the legendary this one. But I think the extra ultimate is better. So those are all the talents, the techniques, the appearance. I'm using this. Does really matter. That's what I'm using. And the emotes also not really important. But yeah, I'm gonna put in some gameplay now. Hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, LSD 789 out. Water betrayed us. He believes we are too weak. He'll kill us all and control our spirits. Mongol's hand clasped a scroll outlining the path of Sukhobatar's army. The ghosts set out in pursuit. The ghosts followed the path until they came across a small, quiet village. Guarded by the defenders. Puddles of blood darkened the pure white snow leading out of the village.
something that way. The bodies of the dead Mongols bore the insignia of Sugbatar. The ghosts were on the right track. Feel the eyes of a fiery spirit on them, taking aim from afar. The ghosts sensed overwhelming suffering from a nearby building of Homes on 
on the hill screamed and pierced the air. Vanquished, the fog faded away. Chanting wafted from the nearby docks, obscured deep in the fog. Around the docks floated slowly down the river. Suddenly, Sukhbatar's voice boomed throughout the village. Um, ghosts. <laughs> Heavy footfalls approached. The ghosts readied themselves for battle. Whoa! 
true.
Together, the ghosts were an unstoppable force. Victory!
lost some of their strongest warriors to the ghosts. Hit them.
Thank you. Follow me. The ghosts refuse to let each other fall.
You're a true ally. Thanks. You're a worthy ally. Ghosts and fight was far from over. Appreciate it. I owe you. The ground wake as the enemies approach.
you. You have my gratitude. The ghosts had triumphed in battle, but the war was just beginning.